Squirt, squirt, up on that scene. Hop out, engine looking clean. What's up, guys? Poison here. We're back from another episode of uh, Resident Evil. We are dead tired. We're going to keep recording today's Monday. is coming out Wednesday. Um, we just saved here. Let's see. Where are we going? Oh, now I know where we are. Back in the original starting room earlier in the game. This is where we meet the molded for the first time, I believe. You guys might remember this doll. Pretty much Evie. Yeah, this mine leads straight back to the fucking house where we start out. Sure Plus we get flash flashbacks. It's not here. It's gone. It's gone. What's our inventory look like? I forgot. Oh shit, we are we stacked up. Okay, yeah, we're we're good, dude. We've got fucking everything. Uh, can we go back this way? No, okay, door's closed. Um, what's this again? E001. It's the old lady. What do we have? Okay, I thought we had the fucking, uh, grenade launcher. I'm like, huh, it wouldn't be bad, but we don't need a grenade launcher. Dude, we might actually finish this game right here, right now. We don't really need, you know... The full 20 minutes we might not i don't know we might take up the full 20 minutes we're not even sure um i had something i want to talk about i'm not gonna talk about it, actually second thought like again i started recording i'm like it's not worth the fucking topic oh shit i pressed f by accident again um one thing i will talk about i have been playing this game again for a second time on easy and man what took me seven hours to complete is took me like four hours but then again i'm playing on easy so it's not as difficult plus i already know what to do and I still want to do another playthrough on a easy or on a normal after I'm done with this just to just to get that good score and then once I beat the score of like five hours I will uh this is your fault. yeah after I beat the score of like five hours I'm gonna fucking uh play on madhouse difficulty like I said I'm not gonna record the madhouse difficulty let's play but it will be happening you see everything's different now the house is so different, dude. That little room isn't there. There's a bed. The TV's missing. The fuse box is still here. Can we uh, mess with it? No. We gotta move on for Eevee. Takes us back to this whole situation. Where are my subtitles? I swear to God. Okay, display. Camera wobble. Reticle color. White. Brightness. Display area. Voice. TV. Virtual surround. Language? Why is there no subtitles going on? We're just getting oh, Eve, Evelyn's, Evie's, uh, voiceover. We're not getting, like, the main voiceover. But you guys can still hear it anyways. Does it want to be my daddy? Then he can die. Oh, yeah? Now it's mommy's turn to kill you. Now, I think I know where to go. I think. I don't know. We're going to explore around down here first, though, real quick. I'm going to see if there's anything down here. Now, I'm not sure if this is a real thing or if it's just a flashback. <laughs> I heard the little bitch over here. I'm not playing. No! Get that away from me! <laughs> Leave me to die! I don't think we're really getting hurt here, are we? No, our health is still good. So we didn't have to come this way at all. Unless there's a doll here I didn't notice. Apparently we need something with those little bobble heads. I guess we could uh, destroy them and it helps us in the future Let's Play. Oh shit, that scared the fuck out of me. I really wasn't expecting that. that. Scared the fuck out of me. No, this is down. I don't think this was down before. That's so creepy. I don't think we're getting hurt, but I don't want to fucking, you know, just let her saw me up either way. Get away! 
Should I have done that? I don't think so. No, I wasn't. <laughs> Oops. Okay, retry. We know what to do. Um... What am I supposed to do here? Get away! Oh, guard. We just gotta get on her, I think. If we beat the game right here, we're just gonna move on to the DLC. Just saying it right now, we're just gonna move straight on. You. It's revealed, if you didn't know. Yeah, she was Evelyn the whole time. I think I should have had a different gun out. Does, do I? No. No. Why did I only have one shell? Reload, Ethan. Popper with some of the fucking enhanced hanging ammo. No, oh, we did good. Okay. All actiony. This game is a good actual blend of action and horror. More horror, but it has a good blend. I like it. I'm saying that as if we're done with the game. I know one of the DLCs is super actiony, and I think it's the next one we have to do. The first one. Now we're finally using the 44. Class one, bitch. Oh no. That's supposed to happen, yeah, I think so. Yeah, it seems like it's supposed to happen. I just wanted a bad name. Switch over to fucking enhance. There we go. Ah, that beautiful pistol. You know, I don't like Beretta at all. I just don't. I don't know. There's just something about Beretta I don't like about the firearms. But I kind of want a Beretta Knight too, just to have uh, stars grips on it. That'd be so cool. And I've been wanting to buy one of these airsoft replicas of the gun from this game, but it's like three hundred dollars. I'm like, dude, I could buy a real fucking firearm for five hundred. Like, maybe after I buy my real firearm, which if everything goes well, I will have the uh, next week. Um, but yeah, you know, it's like, oh, let me buy my real firearm first, then I'll buy a, a replica. Or I'll buy like the replica airsoft, the Albert Wesker Stars handgun. Cause it's so cool. Plus, we're gonna get it in our future playthrough. So when you, well, no, you're not gonna see me use it in my Madhouse difficulty or my other normal Let's Play. But yeah, I'm gonna use that gun mainly as much as possible because I was reading or from videos I've seen and read and everything articles, the uh, Albert RF1 or whatever, the replica has as much power as a 44 magnum with enhanced ammo and it uses normal ammo anyways it doesn't take 44 magnum ammo but with the enhanced one it is fucking a 44 magnum pretty much so 
Yeah, I might not buy the 44 Magnum again on another playthrough. I gotta go through and get my normal difficulty and everything. We're gonna let this cutscene play out, so we're just gonna shut up. Hopefully it's done before 10 minutes. Then we can move on to DLC. I love their outfits, though. They're so cool. I'm Redfield. I'm glad we found you. The fuck took you guys so long? I think I just got the worst ending I could have gotten. I'm so fucking mad. I'm kind of sad, dude. I kind of want to cry. I'm so fucking upset I got the bad ending. I don't know if this is considered a bad ending. I'm not sure. There's ending A and ending B. I'm not sure if this is considered a bad ending. So if you guys remember, I gave Zoe. I one door or, I'll talk about it in a minute. Another opens. Well, a door closed tonight. And what a long night it was. But not just for me. Me and I weren't the only victims here. So were the Bakers. It was that thing, Evelyn, who made them that way. But now Evelyn's dead. And these guys are here to clean up the mess. I had just come to terms with losing Mia the first time. But now I've lost her again. And the only other door I can see is closed. What is this? Hold up. I don't remember this. I've never seen this before, actually. And I've seen the ending to the game, but I don't recall this. Okay, we're probably going to cut the audio from this. Because it's going to get into the song, the Go Tell Aunt Rhodey, and I'm not trying to get copyright. We're, yeah, it's the ending, so, okay. I don't want to skip it. We're going to use this time to talk, so we're going to take off one headset. So if you guys remember earlier, I pretty much gave Zoe the pill, or the serum. Because we used one on Jack, we used one on Zoe. In, in the process of us giving the serum to Zoe, she gave us the crowbar to fight Mia with. Unfortunately, if I gave it to Zoe, had I given Mia the uh, serum, she would have been alive in the helicopter. Spoiler alert, I'm just going to say it. There's two endings, and I'm going to get the second one on my other playthrough. But yeah, if you give Mia the serum, she lives, and you end up on the helicopter with her, and you get the good ending, I guess. I fucked up, gave Zoe the serum, so it's like, oh shit. And mentally I didn't think about I didn't think about this at all, like what the fuck happened. I didn't think like in my mind at the time, all I thought was, oh, if I give Zoe the serum, I get a crowbar to fight with. I didn't I didn't foreshadow or think like, oh but wait, I also lose fucking Mia. And yeah, we fucked up. Um Which has me wondering what happens to the game on the ship if we give Mia the serum because I'm playing through it on easy as well if I give Mia the serum does do I still have to fight her in the ship or is that not happen do I fight Zoe what's going on how do I even fight Mia on the ship if I don't have the crowbar because all I can do is just block so it's like I'm completely fucking at a loss I don't know we're gonna find through I'm gonna finish playing the game on easy first then I'm gonna go and play it again on normal to try to beat my time and I'm going to be using the Albert Wesker pistol because, dude, it's a badass pistol, honestly. I don't know. I love the look of it. And I hate Beretta. Like I said, I don't like the Beretta 92 series. I don't like Beretta at all. I don't know. But I don't know. It's weird. It's like I don't like Ferrari. I don't like Beretta. It's hella off topic. But that Albert Wesker pistol just looks amazing. And like I said, they make airsoft replicas of it, but it's like fucking $300. Um, and one of the DLCs, I think it's the next one we're going to play. We're not going to continue playing. We're going to finish after this. But... um. 
you play as Chris Redfield, and he gets the Thor's hammer, which is that one uh, shotgun. Cool gun. They make an airsoft version of it. It's a thousand dollars. I'm like, nah, it, it's cool. I don't need the gun, dude. I'm not paying a thousand dollars for that gun. Um, where the fuck's my uh? Okay, difficulty play time normal. Ooh, or difficulty normal play time seven hours. I need to beat it in three hours and five hours. Um, Twelve restarts. Fifteen Mister Everywhere destroy total. Fourteen out of eighteen unique anti coins. Um, files obtained twenty four out of thirty two. Item boxes open. Healing items used thirty nine. Stabilizers used. Steroids used. Damn, I used hella steroids. Yes, difficulty Madhouse Weapon Albert 01R will be added to the item box in the main game. The Secrets of Defense will be added to the item box in the main game. I need the Essence of Defense also. So, let's see, we're gonna go to extra content real quick. What's the next DLC? Banned footage? No, we're not doing the banned footage. Actually, I'm gonna look up what the banned footage is first off. It might be footage we actually need for the game, but we're definitely gonna play Naughty Hero. Oh shit. <laughs> I didn't mean to start that. Oops. Let's, uh, we'll, we'll quit out right now as soon as we can. Um, I'll quit. There we go. Sweet. <laughs> I thought it wasn't taking me straight into the game. So, um, yeah, we had the Not a Hero. Ethan's struggle is over, but there's still one last mess to clean up. And the job falls to Chris Redfield, a veteran in the fight against bioterrorism. And the end of Zoe. Weeks after Not a Hero, a new danger has emerged. So, you see, I had to play Not a Hero first. Um, Jack Sparrow, Joe Baker must face the danger with his bare fist and put an end to his family suffering once and for all. Jack's 55th birthday, it's a mini game. It's not anything really important. I'm not going to play it. Same as Ethan Must Die. These are two difficult uh, mini games that have nothing to do story wise. Banned footage. I don't know what banned footage is. Let's, let's watch the, the story for it first. I don't know what this is. I know there's the poker mini game that's in this, but I don't know. So we have nightmare, bedroom, twenty one, and daughters. Okay, wait, wait. Survive until morning using guns, traps, and skills. Escape from confinement using only your wits. Play a sadistic card game and experience the beginning of the Baker's tragic story. Let's do a quick little game of twenty one. Why not? I I know how to play twenty one in real life. Um. So, so far it looks like Bedroom and Daughters, yes. Nightmare, probably not. This is going to be the only time I play 21. All right, what's up, guys? Poison here. So, the video ends really shortly. Um, the reason why I decided to end the video here is because I do play 21, but I end up cutting it because I spent another 20 minutes playing 21. So, instead of having one super long video to render and it, you know, getting boring and you guys being like, oh, what the fuck's the point of this? Um, I'm going to upload that video after this video. So, this video is going live at 10 a.m. The 21 video is going to go up at 10.30 a.m. So... If you guys watch the video all the way through to right now, it'll be uploaded in 10 minutes or it'll be public in 10 minutes. Um, if not, you know, 21 has nothing to do with the main story. It's just if you want to see me play 21, see how fucked up the game is. But other than that, yeah, um, I'm going to end the video here. I didn't really give a good ending. Um, if you do watch the 21 video after that, you guys see that I'm like, oh, fuck. I, I even say halfway through. I might as well just cut this into its own video as so it doesn't drag on. So, yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching. We're finished with Resident Evil 7 next time. On Friday, we will start Not a Hero, and then we'll, after Not a Hero, we'll start um, the end of Zoe. So, yeah. Until next time, have an awesome day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.